Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. If you're new here, my name's Taylor, and I show you guys what we ate for dinner every week. If you like these videos, I'd love it if you subscribed. Tonight is Friday, and for dinner we're having chicken tacos. I'm starting out by putting taco seasoning into the black beans, and I've got a pot of water boiling in the back for the rice. Then I'm going to take about a pound of chicken and cut it into small pieces. I've heated some oil in a pan over medium heat. I'm going to add the chicken and cook it till it's done. Next, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of taco seasoning and simmer for about five minutes. Alright, and dinner is finished. We've got our taco chicken, and then we've got a ton of this saffron yellow rice. I should not have bought this huge family size, but it's okay, because the kids will eat the leftovers. They love rice. And then we've got some black beans, and here I am having a taco salad. i got some chips on the side that I'm gonna crush up. And, you guys, I told you you're gonna get sick of me talking about my air fryer. I made the hard shells in the air fryer, didn't have to turn on the oven, didn't have to heat up the whole house. It's seriously my favorite thing. So the kids have hard shells with some chips and mashed up avocado and the rice and beans. And that is Taco Friday. It's Saturday and tonight for dinner I'm going to be making stuffed pizza shells. In the back I've started boiling water to cook the jumbo shells. For the filling I'm browning some ground beef with Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, pepper, and onion powder. Once the ground beef is cooked through you're going to drain it and add one diced tomato and some chopped up pepperoni. Really here you could add whatever pizza toppings you like. We're going to mix that together and then add about half a cup of mozzarella cheese and mix it together. Once the noodles are done, I drain those and rinse with cold water to make them easy to handle. And then I'm just going to be spooning that filling mixture into each shell and placing it in a 9 by 13 pan. Once all the shells are filled, we're going to top it with some more chopped pepperoni and one jar of pizza sauce. And since I'm prepping this ahead of time, I'm just going to cover it with the lid and stick it in the fridge till dinner. We just got back from the park and earlier you guys saw me prep these stuffed pizza shells. So now I'm going to cover it with foil and stick it in the oven while the oven preheats and leave it in there for about 25 minutes with the foil on and then I'm going to take it out, top it with cheese and put it in there for like another 10 to 15 minutes and then dinner will be done. I've got hangry kids that are just worn out from the park so I'm glad I prepped this earlier so that dinner would be easy. We're going to have it with a salad. All right, the stuffed shells are done. I did use cheddar instead of mozzarella. Well, I used a little bit of mozzarella, but I was pretty much out, so I used the last of it, and then I used cheddar on top. And here's my plate. I've got three of the shells and a big salad with some grilled tomatoes, cucumber, some of those sweet peppers, ranch, 
everything but the bagel seasoning and lettuce. And Elijah liked the peppers the last time that I gave it to him with the salad, so he said he wanted some with it again. And then I just like chopped up their stuffed shells so it'd be easy for them to eat. Lily's got tomatoes, some of the sweet peppers, and cucumber. And that is our dinner for Saturday. Hey guys, it's Sunday and tonight for dinner we are having leftovers. So I used the last of the black beans and the last of the chicken from taco night. And I'm having a taco salad. So there's that on it. Iceberg lettuce. I forgot we had this queso fresco cheese that I meant to use on taco night. So using that tonight. And then tomatoes, some of those sweet peppers chopped up. And then just the Ortega taco sauce as dressing. And I'll put some tortilla chips on this as well. And then the kids actually wanted the stuffed pizza shells from last night. They loved them, so Elijah has one cut up. And then some salad with ranch and sweet peppers. And Lily has two cut up with tomatoes, sweet peppers, and cucumbers. And there is plenty of the shells for Andy. Or there is also stuffed chicken thighs from the other night. And I think that's pretty much it. And the fridge will be clear of leftovers. So that is our dinner for Sunday. Hey guys, it is Monday and I am working on dinner. I actually already made some cilantro lime couscous. In the past, I have made it with just like the regular couscous, but we had pearled couscous. So that's what I did. It's two cups of the couscous and then the juice of half of a lime and about a handful of chopped cilantro. So that's what we've got there. And then tonight we're having this Tex-Mex tilapia that was a HelloFresh recipe from like a year ago. I just went online and like wrote down most of it. The panko is mixed with, it's supposed to be a Southwest Spice blend from HelloFresh, but I just kind of made my own with chili powder, paprika, cumin, salt, garlic, and ground red pepper. So that's what this is. Just the panko and the seasonings. And I'm going to coat this tilapia with sour cream on both sides and dip it in here and then we're gonna fry it on we're gonna fry it in this pan on both sides for like four to five minutes and then with that we are gonna have some broccoli I almost forgot to mention I also made this little like lime crema sauce stuff it's sour cream lime juice and chipotle powder and that is it just mix it all together and we're gonna put that on top of the fish once it's done Okay, dinner is done. Here is my fish with the lime crema stuff on top. And I'm probably going to put some more of them on a plate to dip my broccoli in. And then the cilantro lime couscous. And then for the kids, I sh uh, grated up some of this queso fresco on top of that since I'm pretty sure that they won't like this sour cream sauce. And I thought that the cheese would be good on top of it. But yeah, that is our delicious dinner for Monday night. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and tonight for dinner we are just having something really easy. I had these shake and bake parmesan crusted one that I picked up at Dollar Tree probably about a month ago. And so I used that and made these ginormous bone and pork chops. So I've got those and then I just made a can of green beans so I always make it. And I was going to make like macaroni and cheese or something with this but Andy's grandmother came and had lunch with me and the kids today and she brought Italian food so the kids had all of this spaghetti left over from lunch so they're having some of that with their dinner along with the garlic bread that came with the spaghetti that they didn't finish 
and I'm not very hungry right now because I have a ginormous calzone that she got me. But yeah, that is our dinner for Tuesday. Hey guys, it is Wednesday and tonight for dinner we are having leftover pork chop and then I made some sides to go with it because there were no leftovers of the sides last night. But those four pork chops were so big that me and the kids just split one last night and then Andy ate one. So we had two more leftovers. So again, tonight me and the kids are splitting one. And then there's one for Andy and I reheated them in the air fryer. I think I did a total of about 10 minutes flipping halfway through on 350. And then I made some corn. And then this is one of these North sides, the cheddar broccoli that I picked up today made that. I don't know if anybody else is going to like it besides me. So the kids have a little bit of that, but then I also made some mac and cheese. And yeah, that is our dinner for Wednesday. Hi guys, it's first day. Hi guys, it's first day. And what are we having for dinner? Um, tomatoes, fries, and a hot dog. Yep, we're having hot dogs. Just a quick, easy dinner. Made everything in the air fryer. The french fries took 20 minutes no 15 minutes and that's the first thing that i've made mm. using the frozen food setting that didn't only take 10 minutes i took it out and they weren't quite crispy so i did another five and 15 was perfect and then the hot dogs took five minutes at 390 so i've got mustard and ketchup on mine and Lily didn't want ketchup so she asked for tomatoes and there's Elijah's. And that's our dinner for thursday and that wraps up this week's what's for dinner Bye. Say thanks for watching. Bye. For watching. Bye. 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 Bye.